Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I'm going to be giving you another announcement for this week's Balkan Architect Advanced Course. So in this week's course I have a 1 hour and 20 minute long course on interior design and the topic of uh, this week's course is going to be kitchens. So kitchens in Revit and I show you two basic approaches to doing kitchens in Revit. One is the more traditional approach where you would use basically elements that you already have in Revit to assemble a kitchen and the other one is a more custom built kitchen where I show you how to make a cool kitchen design. But anyways, let's get into the project and I'm going to be showing you everything in Revit, what this looks like. Now, if you want to get access to this course, uh, check out the first link in the description to my Patreon. There uh, you can uh, basically get access to all of my advanced Balkan Architect courses. They are all over one hour long and I have 23 so far. Also, you will get access to all of my project files, so check that out. Also, one more thing with the project files, usually I would just give you the final file and starting from today I decided to do like a file from before so here I'm going to be sharing with you the empty house without the kitchen and then the file with the kitchen completed so if you want to follow the whole course and if you want to model the kitchen yourself you can follow the you can follow the course and you will have the starting file uh, on hand on patreon so anyways let's go to Revit so as you can see over here, this is the first kitchen. This is the kitchen that I do uh, just out of all of the uh, elements that are available with Revit. Now this is Revit 2020 and I'm switching now to Revit 2020 for all of my tutorials and courses. But anyways, so this kitchen is built completely out of those elements. So I show you how to find them, how to load them in, how to adjust all of the dimensions. They have all fine parameters. For example, this uh, big vertical uh, casework element over here, this tall cabinet, we had to set it up so it fits perfectly this here uh, oven as well as this wine cellar over here underneath. Now I show you not only how to place all of the casework, all of the cabinets, but also how to do the countertop, how to do the sink, uh, and then I show you how to find online all of the uh, families. Well, I show you in a previous course how to find it online. Here I just show you how to uh, load it in and place it, and all of these families like uh, the the oven, uh, the wine cellar, the uh, this here, the plate uh, for the like your heating area and here the sink and the refrigerator I show you how to load that in and all of these families are available so as you can see here I have this file with all of those families used in the project and then you can basically use all of these and assemble your perfect kitchen so this kitchen works on all levels so it works in 3d you can do renderings uh, here if we go into level 1 interior here you can see that's where the kitchen is here here we have the dashed line for the upper cabinets. So the cabinets that are uh, above the cut line, they're still visible uh, by this dashed line. So it basically indicates that they're there. So that's really important. And in the end, I show you how to add a light in these upper cabinets. So if I go back into 3D view. Yeah, so I add a light strip here. So I show you how to do that. It's it's a bit difficult, but in the end, the result is really cool. So let me just find that uh, rendering image. I think I have it. So, oops, not this one. So it's the... Okay, this is for the custom one. Okay, so here we go. So here, as you can see, the light is shining from those top cabinets. So that's the idea. That's what they wanted to have. And that's what they show you how to uh, how to place and then how to achieve that effect when rendering. So that's the first kitchen. And the second one, you just got a sneak peek for the second one. So this is the second kitchen that I'm doing. So this is a more of a custom kitchen. It's a cool black design kitchen, a dark kitchen with these wooden accents. I think it looks really cool and we have the same light strip effect over here. I think it's really cool and of course we have all of the kitchen elements that are necessary. Now I do this in a separate project so let me close off this one. So that's in this uh, project over here. Now this is that residential project house that I used for my 
course uh, from start to finish, a five part course, five hours. So if you want to learn how to basically uh, model this whole house, how to do all of the details, all of the dimensions, that as well is available on my Patreon. So check that out. But anyways, for the kitchen, uh, here's the kitchen. So here's the kitchen that I've created. Now I've done this using only in place modeling and using this family that they created. So this is basically a family that allows you to adjust it. So it's a storage family. So here you can see this is one part of that family. So if I go create similar and I want to place a storage somewhere, I can do it just like this. So it's complete storage and it's completely adaptable to the environment. So I show you basically how to modify, let me just delete that, how to modify that family to use it for kitchen elements. And then we're using some in place uh, modeling for the rest of it to do all of the uh, little cabinet doors and all of that stuff and later on we're of course entering all of the families necessary to complete this kitchen design so that's the second one that's the more kind of a more custom kitchen it's a bit less detailed than the previous one uh, but it looks way cooler uh, you must agree so anyways that's the whole course it's one hour 20 minutes long it's available on my patreon also there if you get this course you'll immediately get access access to all of my other courses, 23 courses so far. So check that out. And also you will get access to all of my project files, not only the project files that follow these courses, but also all of my project files, my student projects, as well as all of my, uh, all of my previous tutorials. I create a project in each tutorial or I use some project. So I upload those to my Patreon as well. So yeah, that covers, uh, well, this week's topic of this week's course. And if you're interested in just regular uh, like quick uh, tutorials on interior design. I have those link in the description. I have a playlist on interior design and but this is more uh, basically a lot more detail. I go into all of the little details and it take you through the whole process from start to finish. I think that's really important. But anyways, that's it for uh, this announcement. So check that out first link in the description and I'll be back with another Balkan Architect quick tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.